this Ironhead 41. Uh, I was on a Skype call last night, and I'll tell you what, that was a very good question asked. The question was, uh, what can you do if, uh, if you don't have any antibiotics in a post-SHTF situation and you get an infection from a cut, a burn, or an abrasion? Well, I don't know of any food you can eat or anything you can do, but the, the best thing you need to do is prevent yourself from getting an infection. You see, the other night, I, that gum tank got tangled up in some cords and fell over and burnt my side on a wood heater. So that's why I suggest first aid should be the main thing you should have. Peroxide, alcohol, antibiotic creams. I mean, everything that you need uh, if you don't have antibiotics. All right, sock it to me. <laughs> stretch out. All right, stretch out. Which way? Well, let me turn my beer up. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Or you can just pour some Pat's Blue Ribbon on. Let's try it. No. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. Oh, now peroxide don't burn or nothing, but my gosh, it it is cold. Woo! Need to heat it up first. Uh, clean water and soap should be your first thing. What peroxide do, it, it'll boil out the oxygen or something in it. I don't know how it works, but it boils it out real good. All right, sweet pea, whenever you're ready. Clean it and make sure you have something good to clean, clean it with. A clean start old cloth Woo. or something. Boy. That's good. I'll tell you what, in a post-HTF situation, I guarantee you, if it ain't bullet holes, it'll surely be burns. Uh, especially in a no power situation, because everybody's going to have to burn wood to stay warm or cooked. All right, alcohol time. You ready? Oh gosh, this is going to hurt. Oh, I'm biting. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, go, babe. Go, yeah. do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's enough. Oh, oh, that hurt. Alcohol. Blow, baby, blow. Oh, that hurts. Oh, woo, boy, that pain feels good, make you feel alive. I had that acting like a baby. Ah, woo. Okay, okay. Oh, all right, next. <laughs> we let this dry. All right. Oh, oh that hurts. Oh. oh. Like I said, infection prevention is going to be your number one in a post-SHTF situation. Oh, for cuts, abrasion, and burns. And I don't know how you do deep bullet wounds. <laughs> okay. Now, she's going to spray an uh, antiseptic spray on it. It's Dermaplast is for pain relief and antibacterial spray. It's for burns, cuts, or anything. Oh, that stuff burns too. Sock it to me. Oh, oh that's cold too. <laughs> oh, that's the burn. That's like solar cane. You can use solar cane as a matter of fact. Ah, oh, oh, that pain makes feel light. It feels good. All right. Let that dry. How long are we gonna take to dry, huh? Son of a gun. Okay. All right, now she's going to put some anti, an, what is it? Antibiotic, antibiotic pain relieving yeah, ointment. An, an antibiotic salve, Neosporin, and it's got pain reliever in it. That's pretty cool. It's a little expensive, but you can buy the Equate brand. Equate brand, like $3. It serves the same purpose. Yeah, same purpose. Buy a bunch of it. Always have a bunch of these little simple things in hand. But I tell you what, if it was post SHTF situation, I didn't have this stuff, uh, I'd probably be dead pretty soon because that burn I know would get infected. Whew. First aid is important. It's going to rub it just enough, but I'm coating it thick. <clears throat> that way it stays on. It don't all, it don't stick to the pad whenever I put that on there. Whew. Honey. Yeah. 
Show your butt to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting a little thick. Right. Boy, that alcohol hot. Wow. Alright, now what you gonna do? You ready to bandage me up? You ready to put your bandage on it? Alright, now, when you put a bandage on, you really should stretch out. If you don't stretch out, and you put your bandage on, and then when you do stretch out, your bandage will come apart. So make sure you stretch out. You don't mind it wadding up. I got my legs straight out, my arms straight out, my whole side just stretched out. All right. So make sure you have plenty of good first aid tape and plenty of PBR. <laughs> Yeah, it's PBR. Oh, gotta have that. I'm ready for a swallow. I'm gonna wait. Alright, go ahead and get her done. Well, how you like that? Now I'm bandaged up, got plenty of salve on me. I'm good for at least 24 hours. So, uh, I, I just can't emphasize enough. Infection prevention is a key in a post HTS situation. Now, plenty of first aid. Plenty of antibiotic creams and gauzes and bandages and tapes. All right, well.